Hi, my name's Aaron Curry, and if I could get one message out to every property investor in the UK, it would be this. Your financial future is far brighter than you can possibly imagine right now. That is if you can look past today's headlines and read the real trends that will drive the market tomorrow. I'm not saying that you don't have reason to be concerned. The fear that the media is printed and has been printing is real. It's not imagined. You know, the triggers that made the property market drop 10% since February are real. They're not imagined. We've been buying those deals. That, that, that drop is, is, is real. And the property market will bounce back faster than the newspaper headlines would make us believe. That means there's a very short window right now between now and Christmas or now and February, very short window when you can buy property at the bottom of the market with virtually no competition. A short window when you can ethically buy property with 25 to 30% discounts from the February prices. And you'll find world-class property easily right now because the number of people looking to buy a house has fallen to an all-time low. So if you're looking for the best time to buy property, the time when it's easiest to find huge discounted deals and when you'll grow your wealth the fastest, this is it. This is the financial freedom moment of our lifetimes right now. And there's one skill, one skill that stops 90% of ambitious investors from building a property portfolio at the speed of their ambition. Just one skill, that's all. What is that one skill? It's ethically sourcing world-class properties. Ethically, you can do this ethically. Ethically sourcing world-class properties. Now, if you're thinking, I want below market value or BMV, Aaron, then part of what makes an investment property world-class is the discount on the purchase price. And a world-class investment property is much more than only the discount on the purchase price. In fact, at the start of my property journey, I only had one rule. That rule was for it to be a good investment property, it had to have a great discount. That rule, that one rule gave me more stress and sleepless nights than anything else in my life. I don't want that for you. That's why I'm going to share with you some of the 13 sourcing techniques that my team at the Insight Group used to source £100 million worth of property every month. I'm going to share with you my golden rules for world-class properties for every single property strategy. You know, let, let's face it, the rules to buy world-class HMOs must be different, must be different to the rules to buy world-class buy-to-lets. And I'm going to show you how to find world-class properties direct to vendor and direct to landlord. So off market, not even on the market, direct to vendor, direct to landlord. And I'll show you how to turn every world-class property you find into a lucrative payday and a recurring income, starting with none of your own money. Now, that is a lot to cover, way more than I can fit in one video. So that's why this is part of a four-part series. This is the second video in a four-part series. A four-part series to show you how to source world-class properties so you can build a property portfolio at the best time in over a decade. In the first video in this series, I showed you how to look past today's headlines and read the real trends that will drive the market to, uh, tomorrow. I showed you the 90-year trend that will drive the market tomorrow and why now is the financial freedom moment of our lifetime. So if you haven't watched that first video, go and watch it now. All you have to do, somewhere around this video, there's a link. Click that link and go and watch that first video first. Now, just before we dive into the content of the second video, before we go any further, I'd just like to explain why the video quality is not quite what I would want it to be. You know, bottom line, we're in lockdown. So I can't get in front of a videographer, face the camera and work with them directly. So this is just me with my laptop and a webcam on it teaching you this content. In today's video, I'm going to give you a 30 second a 30 second literally in fact it's a 10 or 15 minute second once you master the art 10 to 15 minute uh, 10 to 15 second sourcing tool to find off market deals off market deals for free this is the secret tool to attract more deals than you can comfortably buy 
faster than you dare to dream. Impossible? Well, let me tell you what happened when my team thought I'd lost my mind back in 2013. So if I take you back to 2013, I had my business, The Insight Group, and The Insight Group sources, deals, builds portfolios for our clients. That's our job. And at the time, back in 2013, it's kind of September time, roughly 2013, we've got orders on the books for about 40 properties, four zero. So clients have said, I'd like to buy a property. I'd like to buy a property. Some have bought one five, some one eight, some want one, some want two. But we've got orders for about 40 properties. I went to my team with the tool I'm going to teach you shortly. And I went to my team. I said, look, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out to the marketplace and we're going to tell absolutely everybody that we want to buy a portfolio of at least 200 houses, that we've got the money ready, we've got the tools ready, and we want to build a portfolio of at least 200 houses. And we're also going to tell everybody that we can get that done in four to six weeks. So I've got orders for 40 and I'm, we're going out and saying we want to buy 200. Think big think big now the team thought i was crazy because a we didn't have 200 orders in place my view was let's go find them and then we'll soon find the buyers what what bigger motivation than if i've got the deal sat there to go find the buyers so a we didn't have the money for the 200 houses and b we didn't have the operations team to buy 200 houses but again i was like Do you know what i'll fix that problem when i come to it let's think big let's go for it okay now, this is all about the magic of thinking big and the law of attraction. The bottom line is it works. What you put out there comes back to you. Okay, we know that to be true. We know that to be true. It doesn't always come directly back. It doesn't always come from where you think it will. It might come from over here or over here. But what you put out comes back tenfold. So we're going out now putting out a big message that we're buying big. And guess what starts to happen? Three portfolios come to us one after the other. Now, the first portfolio that was brought to us was for 230, I think it was either 237 or 231. I'm pretty sure it's 237, but 237 houses. Literally, the owner owned a village. They owned every house in the village how cool was that you went on google earth you could see 237 houses in a village and the whole thing was up for sale so i offered i was like brilliant the team are freaking out they're like what he's gone mad what's going on here but we put in a totally serious offer and i offered with 20 percent discount say look i'm gonna buy the lot from you I'll get it done in the next four to six weeks, okay? I'll get this sorted. Um, you could buy a bit quicker back then, so it might be six to eight weeks, I'd have said, if it was in this market. I said, I'm going to get this done in the next four to six weeks, and uh, here's my offer for all those properties, um, and, and this is what I'd like to do. Now, the owner wanted to sell with a 10% discount. They got to sell them all together at the same time. They were going to have to take some kind of cut rather than just sell them off individually but they wanted the money quickly to put into something else. So they wanted to sell them all and they were happy to take a 10% discount. So ultimately on that particular deal, we couldn't reach an agreement. I'd had my 237 come in, I'd got what I'd asked for, we couldn't reach an agreement. Another portfolio came in at the same time. This portfolio was for 98 properties, okay? These were two and three bedroom properties across the Northwest of England. Okay, Manchester, Bolton, Bury, Blackburn, Liverpool, Warrington, 98 properties in a portfolio, performing well, delivering well, delivering well. Now, about 20 of those properties, 20 of the 98 didn't meet our six C's criteria. So because they were two beds, and you, you probably know I teach to buy three and four beds if it's family left. So we've got 98 in the portfolio, 20 I don't really want, 78 I really want. OK, so again, we put in a, an offer and again, I'm like, do you know what? I'm going to buy 98 off you on the 20. I don't really want. I explain I don't really want those, but I'll take them off your hands. 25 percent discount. I'm kind of thinking, do you know what? If I get to buy them with 25 percent discount, even if I buy them and then sell them again, 
and it costs me 10% in charges to buy and sell them and all the costs, then I'm still going to sell them and make 10 or 15% profit because there's that much left. So, so that's pretty cool on those 20. And on the other 78, 20% discount. And we negotiate and we go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And eventually that falls through too. They end up splitting into two pieces and selling off to two other investors who were offering more money than me. But I wasn't willing to budge on those prices. You know, we negotiated a little bit, but I wasn't willing to go where they wanted to get. But also what happened was a third portfolio came in. Okay. So this guy brings me this portfolio. This portfolio has got 28 properties. Now, at the time when this deal came in with these 28 properties, I had my offers out on my 237 and my offers out on the 98. And I'm feeling reasonably confident on the 98 and I'm still in the game on the 237. So at that point in time, I'm like, do you know what? When this, off, when this 28 comes in, I'm speaking to the person bringing them to me. I'm saying, do you know what? I'm not sure I can buy them. I've, I've got an offering on 237 at the moment. I've got another offering on 98. They're both looking likely. So that's going to be 330 properties that, that we're going to be buying in the next six to eight weeks. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest, that we want to be distracted by 28 or whether we'll have the time to focus on the 28. And I then get into a position where, where the agent needs me now. They want me more than I want them. Okay. So the agent's kind of coming back to me going, well, why don't you put an offer in? Why don't, you know, why don't you come to the table? Now, the agent's in the middle. They get paid if it gets sold, of course. So they, they're going to want to do that. But I've, got, I've now got a newfound confidence. I'm now getting portfolios of this kind of size. I put my message out there and this stuff's coming in. I'm like, do you know what? There'll be more. More's going to come. So what, I, what do I do? Well, I go back and I said, do you know what? For the 28 properties, I said, we'll take them all off your hands, all 28. But to be honest with you, to make it worth my while, because we normally are dealing with bigger portfolios, and we are, we normally be dealing with bigger portfolios, to make it worth my while, I'm going to have to offer you 25% discount on these properties. So these properties were worth, you know, 105, 110, that kind of price point. And we're going in saying 25% discount off that. So what happened to these three portfolios? Well, the 237 didn't come off, like I told you. The 98 didn't come off like I told you, but the 28 did. We bought 28 houses at Cannon Pennington Mews with a 25% discount on every single one. My business made £360,000 on one deal. £360,000 on one investment deal of 28 properties we were used to making five thousand pounds a deal <laughs> that's what we made we we got an order we found a deal we made five thousand pounds we went to shop in a different marketplace we went to shop where there were less buyers less people are looking for 28 than one okay so and suddenly there's more profit in it and there's more appetite for me they want me they want me more than i want them we got 28 properties and we made 360,000 pounds out of it from one deal, putting one deal together. Anybody could do that. They just had to think big and put those offers out. So what's the moral of the story here? You know, if you want to buy one buy to let, then there's lots of competition. But if you want to buy 10 or 20, then you will stand out. You might not jump to saying 20 or 200 straight away, but you can jump to saying 10 or 20 and you'll stand out. You're fishing in a completely different pond, a pond with little to no competition. So then when you, and if you get the deals and you only want three, I'll teach you what you need to do with the rest of them. Watch the rest of the video series, okay? Second moral, when you think big, when you think big, the universe responds, yeah? The, when you think big, the universe responds, yeah? When you think big, you'll find a confidence to make offers you would never if you were buying one house. Offering on 28 all at once. Offering to get them all completed on the same day. Never done that before. We used to buy one house. My team thought I was mad. So you've got to be able to tell people exactly what you want in a way that can be remembered. So it's got to be short. It's got to be punchy. And it's got to be 
memorable to tell the universe what you want short punchy and memorable and you've got to be able to say it in i'm going to say 30 seconds or less but i want you to get skilled at this and get down to 15 or 20 seconds or less this is the 30 second sourcing tool that brings you off market deals for free and i'm going to show you right now how to craft this before this video finishes you should be able to well you will be able to craft your own and start putting it out to the universe so i call this your property identity and in this piece we're talking about sourcing properties so i call this your property sourcing identity okay and i'm going to throw a couple of slides up on the screen just so i can take you through this and i can share with you a couple of examples of these these identities so you can pause the video and kind of cheat a little bit you can even copy some of them or you can but i want you to get the craft as well so what needs to go in your property sourcing identity okay what needs to be in there what's the context that's in there if we're meeting somebody let's imagine you're meeting somebody at a networking event let's imagine you're um, you're putting the word out there about what you do on facebook on linkedin on other pieces like that okay have you been to networking events in the past where you turn up and you get chatting to somebody and before you know it 15 or 20 minutes of chat has passed then you watch the networking event and then you go home okay or you turn up go straight into the event you come out for the break spend 15 20 minutes chatting to one person then you go home and looking back with reflection that one person might have been a very nice person that's why you got on and chatted for a while but they're no good for you and you're no good for them you're never going to do any business together nothing's going to come from that conversation maybe a friendship but nothing for your financial future your property investing future how often does that happen do you think have you been to 10 networking events and that's happened 10 times to you 20 times to you etc it's because you're not focused and it's because you don't have a property identity i want you to be able to put it out there very very quickly in that in that 15 20 seconds you're putting it out there and the person that you're talking to knows immediately that they can work with you or they can because you've made it so clear what you're looking to do what you bring to the table and what you're looking for and they can very easily go either no that's not me and i don't know anybody or they can say yeah do you know what that isn't actually me or they can say do you know what that's not me but I've got a friend, let me put you in touch. Three outcomes when you share your property identity because it's crafted in such a way, it's not a yes, no, there's three outcomes. Very quickly, within 20 seconds, in their head, they know it's not them, it is them, or it's not them, and it is somebody else that they know, and they can plug you in. So how do we craft this property identity to be able to use? What is this property identity? Well, what it covers, we need to cover four core things. We need to cover what you bring to the table. Okay. There is time, there is money, and there is experience that is needed to buy a great investment property. Time, money, and experience. Okay. All three have to be at the table. When I started investing in property, I put in the time, I had somebody else put in the money, neither of us had experience. Guess what? It was a disaster because neither of us had experience. The first 10 houses were a nightmare. And it was someone else's money that I was wasting or losing at the time, okay? So there must be time, there must be money, there must be experience. So what of those three do you bring to the table? Do you bring time and experience and you're looking for an investor with money? Do you bring uh, experience and time and you're looking for deals or experience and time and you're looking for money, like I just said. So what of those three do you bring? So it's really important to focus on the three, time, money, experience, okay? Time, money, experience, and which of those do you bring to the table, okay? Then you need to build your piece. You need to brag a little bit. You need to fill in some gaps and tell them what you bring to the table, okay? Then you need to say what you're looking for. I'm looking for investors with over 250,000 pounds. I'm looking for 200 plus investment properties with 20 percent discount that i can buy today you know what are you looking for really succinct and then the location you want them to be in barnsley you want them to be in um in in surrey you want them to be in north yorkshire you want them to be in manchester what's the specific location that you're looking to do this in okay 
So they're the four things. Hopefully you've written them down. What you bring to the table, building your piece, which we're not naturally good at in the UK. If someone brags, we clip them around the ear, don't we, when they're young? But we need to build our piece. We need to brag a little bit about the skills we've got. By the way, if you're not sure what skills you've got, ask your friends. I always say when I'm teaching this in a, in a room, just before we go to a break, I'll say, do you know what? If you're not sure what you bring to the piece, bring to the table, just message your friends. Send them a quick message uh, in the break and just say, hey, this is a really weird question, but what do you like about me? What's great about me? Now, some of you with some friends will get some sarcastic comments back, etc. but go, no, seriously, can I, you just going to help me with this program I'm on? Can you tell me what's great about me? By the way, they'll then tell you, you'll then tell them, only good can come out of that. <laughs> only good that can come out of that. Don't be cool, don't be, you know, go and ask them if you're not sure how to build your piece. Find out what's great about you. It's a really nice exercise to do anyway, okay? So what you bring, Build your piece, what you're looking for, location. So let's look at a couple of examples. Let's look first of all at the one that I used in 2013. Here's, the, here's what I started putting out to the world. Hi, my name is Aaron and I specialize in family there. I was looking for family buy to let properties. We have funds to purchase 200 plus properties and the expertise to get it done. We need sellers of large portfolios who would take a 20% discount to sell fast. Do you know anyone like that? Okay. So I've been specific. Hi, my name's Aaron. I specialize in family vets. Straight away they can go, do I have family vets? No, I'm HMOs. Not of interest. It's really specific. We have funds to purchase 200 plus properties. Does that build my pace? Absolutely. And we have the expertise to get it done. So I'm telling them from that triangle of time, money, experience, what I've got to bring to the table. We've got the expertise to get it done. And then I'm really clear on what I need. What am I looking for? We need sellers of large portfolios who will take a 20% discount. You know, sellers rule some people out. Large portfolios rules lots of people out. 20% discount rules lots of people out. But if I end up with someone on the end of that, they'll definitely meet all of my criteria. And they'll know who I am and what I'm bringing to the table. Do you know anyone like that? That literally is a 10 to 15 second little piece of presentation. And I start putting that out everywhere and deals come to me. I've shown you three deals, three deals from just putting that out a little bit. 237 houses, 98, 28, it's over 350 total, okay? So example property identity number two. Let's assume you're looking for service accommodation. So this is one of my students. Hi, my name is John. And I specialize in serviced accommodation in Leeds. So it's really clear. He specializes in serviced accommodation and he does it in Leeds. I have the expertise and money, uh, sorry, expertise and time to turn buy to let properties into properties that make a thousand pounds a month. Well, that's intriguing. I have the expertise and time to turn buy to let properties into properties that make a thousand pounds per month. Okay. I'm looking for landlords who would like to get better return on their buy to let Do you know anyone like that? Well, that's really, really clear. John has said who he is. He said his location. He's built his piece. I specialize in service accommodation, got the expertise and time. He's told us which from the triangle he's got. And he's, he said he turns buy to let properties into properties that make a thousand pound a month. By the way, do you imagine, imagine if we were in a room of a hundred people that had a buy to let. And I said, who'd be interested in meeting John? And all they've heard is those three sentences. How many of those hundred hands do you think would go up? At least 90, at least 90. Just by getting the right few sentences together, suddenly 90 people are interested in speaking to John. They don't even know, even know who John is. John might be an axe murderer. Yeah, he, you know, he might be rubbish at property, but because he's got this, he might be new to this guy, but because he's got this identity written in the right way, now people are attracted to John. Now people want to come towards John and start up the conversation. And then they can, once they start up the conversation, they can take it where it goes from there. But it brings the deals to John. I'm looking for landlords who would like to get, you know, a better returns on their buy to let. Yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested. Do you know anyone like that? Yeah, me and my mates. This is great. Let's talk. Yeah. So there's, there's an example for service accommodation. Let's just look at a third one. Hi, my name's Claire, and I specialize in holiday let properties in North Yorkshire. So it's really clear I can choose. I'm not interested in holiday lets. I switch off. 
I'm really interested in all of that. It's cool. Let's look at this some more. Okay. I have the time and expertise to make far higher investment returns from larger six to eight bedroom properties. Okay. So it's really clear. It's really specific. Most people at a networking meeting are going to go, yeah, I don't know anyone like that. Don't know anyone like that. Don't know anyone like that. And that's cool for Claire because she can go, well, it was great to meet you. And she needs to learn the skill to do it, but great to meet you. And she moves on to the next person. In that 20 minute break, she speaks to 15 people. And she finds the one in the room that's interested in, instead of having to go to the same networking event for the next 15 months to eventually find them. I'm looking for landlords with a six to eight bedroom property for sales stroke rent who would like to sell stroke rent fast. Now, I don't particularly like that Claire's put sale and rent strategy in together. I, for me, that could be two separate. I get property identities and she posts one one time and another the other time. And she interacts between them, depending what she's looking more most for, one's for sale or one's for rent. Because Claire's happy to buy these properties, but she's happy to do rent to holiday let as well. She makes a lot of money doing both. Uh, so who would like to sell stroke rent fast? Do you know anyone like that? But you can see here, she's, she's, she said very clearly what she's after. She said the location, she's built her piece. She said from the triangle what she can bring. She said what she's looking for. It's really clear. Do you know anyone like that? Now, there's three property identities for that. The stuff I'm going to teach you in later videos, I've just done another couple of property identities for you, just to share with you. So example property identity four. This is somebody that is now, you know, you suddenly source 10 or 20 properties. You go source 28 like I did there, but you only need two. What are you going to do with your 26? Okay. You quickly switch. You bring out this property identity now. You go, hi, my name's Paula, and I specialize in building investors' large portfolios in Manchester. So Paula's found 28 properties in Manchester. I have the experience and time to source world-class properties, and I'm looking for investors with £250,000 plus who would like a portfolio and superb return on investment. Do you know anyone like that? You know, she's been really specific. It, it rules out the person on 100K. By the way, the person on 100K is going to go, uh, I don't, but, but I've got 100K. Can I, can I speak to you? <laughs> now they're desperately wanting Paula. They've got 100K. They've, they're feeling like they need to ask. They're desperately looking for Paula to do business with them because they feel it's a favor that Paula's going to do if they, she lets them in because she pitched high. She thought big with her money now, didn't she? You know, we've got good portfolio coming, but if you're asking for money, think big. Put, put it out there. Ask and you shall receive. Yeah? I have the experience and time. She's very clear from that triangle what she's got to source world-class properties. I'm looking for investors, 250K. Do you know anyone like that? Let's look at number five and we'll wrap up this sourcing teaching, okay? Oh, sorry, this identity teaching. So, hi, my name's Aaron and I specialize in HMOs in Yorkshire. So I'm really clear what my strategy is and I'm really clear on my area. Someone can go, I want properties in Yorkshire or I don't. They can get in or they can get out, okay? We don't want it to be too generic. If it's too generic, people... people think, oh, that's too big, and their brains can't connect with it. By making it as specific as possible, people can quickly go, that's me or it's not. I have the time and experience, over 200 properties, in fact, to build great portfolios. I've built my piece. I'm looking for investors with half a million pounds plus who would like superb cash flow today and superb long-term growth. Do you know anybody like that? Now, if someone's got over half a million, how will they respond to that? They quite like to go, well, I'm interested if they're interested in HMOs or Yorkshire. And if someone, they may even do it even if they're not, if they've never thought of property. But if someone's got less than that, they can rule themselves out and we can move on. It's really, really clear what I'm looking for. Now, I actually might be looking for an investor. Right now, I'm looking for investors with half a million pounds to work with me on a joint venture. Okay, I want, I want a, a, a group of investors and I've got a few of them already. Um, but even if it's, we're going to do mixed strategies, when I put out this property identity, I put it out specific to a strategy so they can check off on it and then hook onto it. Then once I get in conversation, I can say, actually, normally I put a blend in there. We put some holiday lets and service accommodation. Uh, we might put some family lets if you haven't got any. We'll put a blend in there because that's what's best to build an even more successful portfolio. Does that sound okay? But when I'm putting out my identity, I start like this. Okay. Now you'll notice each of those five identities had a magic question on the end. Do you know anyone like that? Okay. Why is that the last sentence? The reason that is the last sentence is if you just say, is that you? I can answer and say it's me or it's not me. 
okay? But if you, if you say to me, do you know anyone like that? I can think of the 200 friends and acquaintances I've got. I've actually got thousands on my training, but I can think of the 200 friends and acquaintances I've got. And I can go, do you know what? It's not me, but I've got these three over here that might be interested, or I've got this one and I've got this one. It triggers a different set of things in my brain, the receiver's brain, and they can come back with different answers. So you're opening up the market a lot more, but still being very specific with what you're looking for. So that's a killer to put on the end. Now, this 10 to 15, well, 15 to 20 second piece, anyone can learn that. My 10-year-old can learn that. I could even teach my four-year-old once we had it written down to learn three sentences. So you can definitely learn three sentences. You can practice that in the mirror. Practice, 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 practice. So when you get in a, a networking situation, we can't do that right now. But once you can, you can just trot it out, no problem. But where are we going to use that right now in life today? How can we start to put this property identity out there and to get deals? So once you've got a sourcing identity that's going to attract you deals, I want you to be able to go use this when you finish this video. So once we can go meet people, once we can go be around people, we can use it at networking meetings, okay? You can put this on your email signature. So it's going out everywhere. Every time you send an email, whether it's about property or not, it's got, it's got your property identity on the end of it. People start seeing it going, didn't know you were into property, Aaron. You didn't know? Yeah, of course I am. You're getting conversations. You want to put it on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, three times a day. So three times a day, it's your lead statement. You're literally taking the property identity, copy and paste, post. Copy and paste, post. Copy and paste, post. Yeah? I teach this stuff all the time. It works. It works. Deals will come to you. People will bring their deals to you because you're telling the world what you want with specificity. You're being really specific about this. On your business card, I hate it when people have a business card and the back is blank. What's that all about? Use the back. Put a message on there. So the front is your normal details on your business card. The back is your property identity for your property card. If you haven't got a property card, get one. And you're putting it out, you're putting it out, you're putting it out. That's far more valuable, the, property, the, the sourcing identity, than the, the front bit that's got your details on. Because it's telling them clearly what you're looking for. And then when you get in my event rooms, when you get around my events, other property events, you could be networking with people, but that networking time is going to be invaluable to you because you're going to be using your identity in the right way. So right now you can't go to those networking meetings, but you can get it on your email signature. You can start posting it three times a day on Facebook, three times a day on LinkedIn. You can start putting it out to the world. Now, by the way, often my students say to me, oh, whew, Aaron, I, I can build the identity, but do I really have to put it out on Facebook? And I said, well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you? And they, they'll say, well, I'm a bit worried about what people will think about me. I haven't really told my friends and family I'm doing this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, do you want to get financially free? Are you serious about this? You know, are you serious about this? Yeah. Okay. Well, if you put it out there and some people come back and are negative to you, what are they doing? They're holding on to you. They're pulling you back out there. They're, they're, they're restricting you from moving forward. And the ones that come back and go, that's amazing you do that. I didn't know you do that. They're cool to have around. Maybe you've got some decisions to make once you see the responses to your post about whether those people should be in your life or not. Because the people I want in my life are people that that's amazing you're doing that, Aaron. Rock and roll, you know, go smash it. Yeah? And I'll tell you what will happen. What you'll find out is there are people in your intimate circle, your close circles, and you've never had discussions about money, and they're doing property as well, or they're thinking about property as well, and you start to attract like-minded people. You start to get a peer group around you of people who are up for this. Okay? So I'm really sorry, but you need to get over this. You need to step up and get over this. People that are part of my VIP program, my, my kind of top, top end education program, you know, I work with them on this and, and I don't bully them, but I push them hard to do. They put these posts out. They get deals within 24 hours, deals into their inbox within 24 hours with big discounts again and again and again, portfolio, deal, portfolio, deal. Five properties, 20 properties, 30 properties, seven properties, one property, one. You get lots of ones as well. <laughs> Who cares if that one turns to be the great one? No problem, but talk big on it. Put it out big and the world will look after you. It's the same when you ask for money, by the way. You get money. You know, someone recently raised 100K and then another 500K on top. 
two months later from one Facebook post with a property identity that was looking for money. So you've got to master this piece. You've got to learn how to use a property identity in this way. So let's wrap this video up. What I'd like you to do, remember this is the second video in a series of four. What I'd like you to do is take some action with what I'm giving you. It's no use just learning stuff. You need to learn and take action, okay? So here's your action right now. You've got some examples on here. You can, you can pause and cut and move through this video back and forth through it. I'd like you to craft your property sourcing identity. Literally get one written. You know, if you, if you did the first video in the series, you know what your strategy is. You know what you're looking for. So get your property sourcing identity crafted and then go out and post it on all your social media profiles. Get it crafted and post it on all your social media profiles and see what happens. And in the next video, and by the way, feedback to me, let me know what happens when you do that. In the next video, I'm going to show you the three most powerful sourcing strategies my team use to find a hundred million pounds worth of world-class properties every month. I'm going to share those three most powerful strategies. Okay. So watch out for video three until then. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Okay. Look after yourself, look after the people you love and invest with knowledge, invest with confidence, go create financial freedom. Thank you for listening. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.